Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I pray this day, this Sunday was absolutely amazing for you. I want to share with you just a little bit of what I shared with them in service today. Of course, the word came via others and I just gave them a little bit of backup, right? And they were talking about encouragement and I said, life is like a roller coaster. And so I'm going to start with Jeremiah 1 and 5. The scripture says, he said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet to the nations. This literally tells us that God knew us like intimate, like new meaning past, new meaning I already had an understanding, a unique and intimate relationship with you. Even before I put you in your mother's belly. Why? I placed you in your mother's belly. Why? Because you are a born solution. He said, and then I sanctified you even in the womb. That means I set you apart even in the womb for you to be this born solution to do a job to be a prophet to the nation so maybe your call is not to prophesy or be a prophet but I birthed you for a particular reason and then you get born and what life starts lifing and it's like why am I here what is the purpose do I even have a purpose in life but what you don't understand is you began at destination literally God told you even before you came out you're going to be a prophet. In other words, you're going to prosper. You're going to make it. You're going to make it to the expected end. Now, this, is, of course, is in, in obedience and in conjunction with his word, right? With obeying what he says, becoming his child, right? Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But he said, you're going to make it to your expected end. And so what many of us don't understand is when we're talking about life is lifing, it's like a roller coaster. But the thing about a roller coaster is where you started is where you end. I need somebody to catch that. And so even though life is going up and down, and when you first start off in this thing is, you know, in your relationship with Christ, it's like, like, like you're going higher and higher in Jesus. You know, you started out in life, you're going higher and higher, you're getting older and older and everything is beautiful until you hit the climax, you hit the top of this particular hill and then it's like a plummet and then everything is going down and you're wondering where Jesus is, you wonder where your mama and daddy is, you wonder where your help is coming from because this plummet is plummeting and you're like, God, is there really a purpose? Is there really a destiny? Like it seemed like everything went down fast, but it's the same thing with roller coasters after there's a plummet there's an incline again that's why we talk about the highs and lows of life the ins and out and most of the time people always think that it is the enemy that's coming against them and yes there is warfare and yes there is an enemy that does not want you to meet your destination that does not want you to live out your purpose there is an enemy that wants you to die out in the middle you know how you've seen some roller coaster rides where they just get stuck in the middle hanging upside down and they're stuck for 20 30 minutes with no movement but let's say that did happen to you where there was a period in your life where it seemed like you got stuck for 20 or 30 minutes where everything was upside down inside out what do we always know the problem always gets fixed do you understand there is a God who sees and knows even in the hangup of your life. And when those hangups come, there still is a remedy. There still is salvation. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then they get the ride ticking again and you will complete that ride. But let, let's say you never just had such a horrible tragedy like that, but you had the twist and the turns and the up and the downs of life. But one of the things I realized is sometimes what you're calling the enemy is really the Lord. Listen, Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit to be tempted of the devil. What do I mean by tempted? To be tested, right? You have to understand that what is in you is always going to be tested. Why? For you to know what's actually on the inside of you, that you are powerful in God. You are amazing, that you really are a born solution, that what you have to say, it is necessary, that what you have to give, it is important, that God allowed you to be here on this earth because literally you are a atmosphere changer. Listen, you are the answer to somebody and somebody's, even though the roller coasters of life have you feeling like man I don't know where head is from tail I don't know in from out and I and I share with them how sometimes it's those rides that uh, take you up shoot you up and bring you down real low and I began to tell them about a ride I got on that it went up but then it turned backwards and then it re rolled us back reverse and I'm like Lord what is this and maybe you were in the height of your life but then everything began to reverse maybe a divorce came a betrayal came and it seemed like your life just all the way shot back backwards can I still remind you 
that where you started the ride, you ended the ride. I need for somebody to understand that you are heading to destination. Did you get it? You started in destination. You started with a work from the Lord. You started being sanctified. You started being set apart. You started being ordained. Listen, and all life is doing is processing you back to where you began. Listen, life is causing you to be strong. Life is causing you to look unto the look up to the hills from which come of your help. Life is causing you to look at Jesus. Listen, life is causing you to go back to the one that started this. Only thing you're doing is you're taking a ride back to the beginning to see the very person that God always ordained you to be from the very beginning. The overcomer, the conqueror, the apple of his eye. Come on, the one who's going to go out and win disciples for him. The one who's going to be a generational uh, curse breaker in their family. That's you. And so even though life is life in, and the roller coasters are going up and down, remember, you're only going back where you began. You began victorious, you're going to end victorious. God bless you.